everybody, it's Brianna from Garrett County here in District 4. And a little introduction is that I've served on the State Teen Council for the last two years. And this year I'm serving as an Emerald Award winner for the Achievement Program, as well as the 2020 National Youth in Action Pillar winner for Civic Engagement. Now I've been leather working since I was 11, so I have a few tricks and tips to share with you. So to begin with, I have quite a few different tools here on my table that you might not be familiar with, so I'm just gonna walk through them all. I do have a pair of sharp leather working scissors, a um, decorative punch that is in the shape of a C, as well as an edger, which will take a, the 90 degree edge to a 45 degree edge and an edger as well, but in a different kind that runs down the length of the leather, leaving a indent. I also have some leather working punches here with me for sewing. There's a four prong and then a one prong. I have a sewing awl with me, which opens up the hole after you've punched it, and then my wooden mallet. This can also be replaced with a rubber mallet the use the rubber or wood so that you don't damage the end of your punch. I also have some leather stain with me. So to begin, we're going to take my four prong punch and start about a fourth of an inch over from the edge of the leather so that when you're sewing, you do not rip the edge of your leather and uh, create a giant hole. So whenever you go to hit your punch, you want to give it about three firm hits to make sure that the punch goes all the way through the back side of the leather. I have my needle with waxed linen on it. I'm going to begin from the back side and go to the front. Thankfully, my holes are large enough, so I don't need to use the awl. But if I were to use the awl, I would begin from the back side and push forward through the hole. Now I've just completed a basic running stitch and I'm going to go along the back side and go back through to create a saddle stitch. Now a saddle stitch is one of the strongest stitches that can be done in leather working because it's ran over and then back through so it's very secure. Now, once all of your leather is sewn together and you're all ready for those decorations, I'm going to take my punch and go along the edge and create some decorations. So I firmly pressed in the C shape. Now I will take my edger and go down this edge so that it's no longer at a 90 degree angle and round it down to a 45. Once that's completed, I will now take my other edger, it's a different form, and run down the side to create the indent. Once all of your decorations are done, now you're ready to stain your leather. So um, it only takes a little bit and you want to rub smooth, even coats across your leather. That is why I like to use a just a scrap piece of cloth. Once that's done, I am thankful that I have very fast drying uh, stain. But as you can see, you can see the rolled edge more clearly and the decoration C. Um, I hope that these basic leather working skills and techniques will work for you and you can make wonderful things. Thank you for joining me today.